paper organizing show and tell. That's what we get to talk about today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training, where as a business owner, we will teach you how to be highly organized and highly efficient so that you can run your cleaning empire. Check it out over at SavvyCleaner.com. All right, on to today's show. We have a homeowner that called in and asked this question. Hi, Angela. My name is Beth. I tend to have a bad problem with papers, stacking papers and piling papers, but I never seem to have time to get to cleaning up those piles because I have to do all the basic house cleaning, dusting, and things like that. If you have some suggestions about how to not stack papers and how to not get into that problem in the first place, I really would appreciate that. And I really appreciate all your videos. Thanks a lot. All right, Beth, I'm super excited that you asked this question because this gives us a little bit of a chance to talk about paper and how I manage mine. Now, I will preface this by saying I am not a professional organizer. This question is actually probably better suited for a professional organizer. But as a business owner, I have to be highly organized, and this is the system that I use. All right, so all of my electronic files go on five terabyte hard drives that are very small, and they look like this. We keep all of our video files, our audio files, our images. If we have a guest on the show, we have all of their waivers, all of their releases. All of that is an electronic version. So we will do another whole show on the electronic version of organizing. But this today is the paper version. Now what you're seeing here in front of me, I have three different categories. And one is a milk crate with hanging file folders. And inside I have nine by 12 envelopes and I have the name of the item written across the top flap of the envelope. This filing system here is for an entire year, and these are my active files. Now, these are annual reports. These are annual reports for my LLC that I have to file every year. And so that is what this bin here is. These are active files. In the middle here, I have a box of tax information, which is all of these envelopes inside one year as a banker's box that is filed on file for 10 years. Now I keep them, we're supposed to keep them I believe for about seven years, but I keep mine for 10 just in case. So for example, let's say that I bought a company car five or eight years ago and I'm not really sure, but I need the information for the business loan for that car. It's gonna be in the banker's box under the item that I tagged it for inside this file. So if I ever have to reference anything, whether it's a warranty for a vacuum or it's something for a vehicle, if it's the deed to a house, whatever it is, it's going to be inside the banker's box filed by the year. And you see on the front, it says 2015. So this is 2015's taxes that I'm going to use. I'm gonna keep this until 2025. 2025, I'm gonna take the lid off this box and I'm gonna pull out whatever the files are that are in here and I'm gonna shred these documents. And then I'm gonna reuse this box. I'm literally gonna turn this box around and I'm gonna write 2025 on there and I will recycle this banker's box. So I will have this banker's box for actually 20 years. <laughs> okay, but that's my filing system, okay? So I have active and archived. And then my third section here is my away. So it's the three A's of organization, active, archived, and away. Active, archived, and away. The away is the tossing or the garbage can. What we're looking at here is a paper shredder. Okay, so every piece of information that comes to your office, whether it's a receipt or a piece of mail or whatever, goes in one of these three places. So it's either active, it needs to be paid, it needs to be dealt with today or in the near future. It is archived like the loan to your vehicle or the deed to your house, or it could be a passport information or the registration for your concealed carry or whatever it is. There are things that you don't need every day, but it's nice to know where they are. Those are the archived ones. And then there's the junk. And the junk goes right into the garbage can or it gets shredded. I prefer to shred it because that has sometimes personal information on it, your address, your phone number, that kind of stuff. Who knows what it is, but we shred that. So active, archived, and away. Now this is in my office at all times. This is an entire year at a glance. And so for example, what is inside my active files? Well, right here, I have a, an envelope that has all of my warranties in it. And these are warranties for current cleaning products that we are using right now. So this would be steamers, it would be vacuums, mops, things like that that have moving parts or part numbers. Now I have a printer that is in our office 
And in here is the instruction guide or the user's guide to that printer. And it also has a DVD in case something malfunctions and I have to reinstall the software for that. And so that's where this goes right here. Very easy to access. And it's right here in my office at all times. So at any time, if I need the information, boom, it's right here. When I'm done with this at the end of the year, it goes inside its own archive box or it gets, it gets trashed. Okay. So everything is one of these three places. Now, if I'm out and about, this is my active file for the car. This is a little envelope with lots of little spaces in it. And I bought this at the Dollar Tree. So the Dollar Tree, the dollar store, they sell these. And this is where I keep all of the receipts. Now I keep this little pouch between the console and the seat of my car. And if I get out of my car and I go inside, it's probably because I'm spending money. When I come back, there's going to be a receipt in my hand. The receipt goes inside this pouch and this pouch gets reconciled on Sundays. Now the secret to making this system work is that you must schedule time on your schedule as a homeowner or as a business owner where you're going to file your papers. And I know that sounds really boring. Like, Oh, I got to schedule time to do that. Papers never filed themselves ever in the history of anywhere. This is a system that will save you. Now system is an acronym. I learned this from Barbara Hemphill, who is the queen of uh, paper control. She wrote a book called taming the paper tiger. And the system is saving you space, time, energy, and money. Okay. So in order for you to have a system, you must have a time on your schedule where you'll implement the system. So for me, it's Sunday. And if you do not know right now off the top of your head, exactly when that time is, you probably need a system. Okay. So what it is is just a few minutes a week where you're going to sit down, you're going to pull out all the receipts. You're going to open your bank account. You're going to make sure that everything is inside the computer. Everything is lined up, that it is all tagged properly, that you know exactly what you spent, where, and when. And there are secrets we can get into another time. But like, for example, if I have a receipt for the gas of my car, while I'm sitting in my car, I get back in my car after I put gas in my car, and I grab an ink pen that's in my car and I write the car that I'm in. doesn't matter what car I'm driving. It could be any one of our company cars, but a company car, I write the car that I'm in. Then I circle the amount of the gas purchase. I circle the credit card that I use and the date of the purchase. So quick, easy glance come Sunday. I'm going to just make sure that all of that stuff was categorized correctly inside Quicken online or QuickBooks, whichever program that you use. So there's a very simple process, but the simple process goes to the three A's. Is it an active file? Is it an archived file or does it go away? And so for the mail that comes into the house, lots of people will make a stack or a pile of it. I do not want a stack or a pile of it. It goes in one of these three places. Am I going to save it for another time because I need it? Like, is this a, a, a document that I'm going to need later on? If it is, it gets archived. If it's an active file of something that has to be paid immediately, it goes in here. If it's a piece of junk, it goes here. Boom, boom, boom. Right? So we do that on a day to day basis, which is just part of our daily chores. Then once a week, just a quick 15 minute sit down where you go through and you answer all of the things that came in. Did you pay all the bills? Do, does a bill need to be bumped out two weeks? Can a bill be scheduled online with auto pay? And you just double check all of those things. That way nothing ever falls through the cracks. All of your agreements are on target. All of your promises are in place with all of your contracts and everything that you have, you have at least a week's notice of what's coming up. And so that way there are no surprises. One of the biggest problems that we get into as far as falling behind on our bills is the bills come in and we first think, Oh, I don't have the money to pay that. And so we don't even open it and we just put it in a stack. Like we're going to open it later when what we get inspired, there's no inspiration and it never opens itself. So by doing this one time a week, by just going through all of your stuff and saying, is it active? Is it archived? Or is it away? Is part of that system that I shared with you. Anyway, this is a system that has worked really well for me for several years. I hope that you find a system that's similar. If not, you can borrow mine because it works really well, but, but this is it. We are a paperless office, except for what you see right here. And any piece of paper that comes in goes into one of these three places. I know super simple, right? Anyway, that's my system and I hope it works for you. If you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.